want to make a special request that anybody here who wants to come out to our Fulkerson Fest, this will be the seventh one that we've had. It's at Seafood City in Felton, August 18th. From 4 o'clock to 8 o'clock. It's early night, and I know school starts the next day, but we're done at 8. Um, also, we take donations. Anything musical, if you guys are artsy, if you've got record collections left over from your parents, anything like that, the, um, guitars that somebody played El Cabong with and smashed over your head and it's in pieces, we'll still take it. But this guy right here is Joey Fulkerson. like to hear Sally not up here and talk to y'all. How many would like to hear Sally sing? Come on, Sally, you just came off the stage, the June GM stage. How was that? It was very invigorating. It's nice playing with my brother Joey, our Spokersons. June Jam is a great, great event. No rain, beautiful day today. I cut. <laughs> so listen, tell us about what you're doing to help raise money for what cause? Tell us all okay, about that. Um, what we do is, is we have an annual party. And it is in honor of our oldest brother, Steve, who passed away in 2013. He would give um, younger students the chance to learn guitar, like four, five, six years old, you know, starting them early. And um, a lot of times their parents would not be able to pay for lessons and they'd have to give up their lessons. And it would upset him. It would make him happy to see a student go and play at a local bar where he could say, yeah, I taught him how to play guitar. So what we're trying to do is make funds available for kids who are taking lessons or have, you know, a set of drums and they've busted a snare and mom and dad say, well, you know, we really can't afford it. You know, so we're available for them to buy gear, get lessons, you know, if they need a strap for a guitar or a case or anything like that, or a learner guitar. We have a lot of people that have guitars laying around. Um, we'll take them to Joey or Tommy Alderson and they'll look at them and say whether or not they are worthy to fix, to give away as a, a lesson, a learner. And if they're not, we give them to our artisans' friends and they paint them and cover them with flowers. And then we auction them off at the annual Fulkerson Fest, which will be August 18th at Seafood City in Felton. Um, cash only, I guess. I don't know what else to say about that. But, you know, we've got a lot of neat items that people have donated over the years. We have this, this came to us today, the, the Golden Encyclopedia of Music. Yes, it is an old book, but you can't find this online. You know, and there's something about flipping through the pages. We have lots of old albums. We have lots of old music magazines, guitar stands, instruments, 
So, you know, these kind of things, these are the kind of things we're looking for when we come to donations. You know, we don't need new. Sure, we'll take a gift card to a restaurant to go out or a gift card to a pub to see a band play. But this, these kind of things, the things you can't find, the things that are, are unusual, artistic, you know, and support music, the life of music. That's what we're looking forward to auction off. We also auction off, um, we do the 50-50 thing, and we offer beef platters, and all the money that comes in from that, we go ahead and we put it in the pool, and we have children that come from B&B Music, they come from Teats, you know, if they need something, we're there for them. You know, if their parents are in a hard time, that's what we're here for, because, you know, times are tough, and learning music is a luxury, and if you're not the kind of child that can learn it once and carry it on, you know, you need a little support. We're here for your support. Thanks for doing it, Sally. Thanks. Great job today. Thank you.